Well, the 30-day legislative session is now over, and now it's up to Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham to decide if professional boxing and MMA fights should still be regulated here in New Mexico. Well, the state commission overseeing fighting sports was just months away from disappearing, but state lawmakers passed a proposal to keep it alive. While at the same time throwing some new regulations into the ring, Griffin Rushton back here in Albuquerque from Santa Fe here to explain why one local boxing gym says this increased regulation is actually a good thing. Well, it all comes down to safety. The New Mexico Athletic Commission is in charge of making sure all those professional boxers, wrestlers, MMA fighters, and the people who put their matches together are following the rules. Supporters say that oversight makes the sport safer for everyone, and keeping that in place could attract even bigger fights to New Mexico. So we have the potential to grow this economy and be uh, and be the mecca of MMA and other types of fights. That's Albuquerque State Senator Mo Maestas making his pitch to fellow state lawmakers to keep the New Mexico Athletic Commission operational. We would be an outlier. We would be the only state uh, in the United States that does not regulate this growing sport. The commission oversees boxing, wrestling, and MMA events across New Mexico, both amateur and professional. That includes conducting medical tests, drug screenings, and issuing licenses, something one local promoter says is integral to keeping fighters safe. Back in the early days of boxing, I'm sure you've heard of fights where they were rigged and there was stuff put in their boxing gloves and it caused the death of other fighters. And, you know, that goes to show you that they have to work hard. If something goes wrong here, it's bad news everywhere. So they work hard and so do we to adhere to their rules. The agency was on track to be dissolved in July, largely because it's been running out of money for years. It's just more bureaucracy that's not necessary, which is why when we did all the sunsets, this group was specifically left out on purpose. Despite the pushback, lawmakers narrowly approved Maestas' bill to keep the agency open for another five years, while also increasing licensing fees and establishing a statewide ranking system for the top boxers. Maestas says it's the first step at modernizing the commission and putting New Mexico's fighting scene in a higher class. New York, New Jersey, Las Vegas, uh, California and hopefully New Mexico uh, are the premier places for for boxing and mixed martial arts. Although some would argue we're already there. We already have put New Mexico up there, like I said, with the Jacksons and what we, I mean, we have John Jones, we have Holly Holm, we have Johnny Tapia. We have so many great, huge fight names. It's a fight town. So yeah, we're already on the map. Senator Maestas suggested Albuquerque still needs a bigger arena to host the really big fights, but he says getting rid of the state's oversight agency would just delay those even more. The governor has about two more weeks to decide whether or not to sign this bill into law. Back to you.